Hello YouTube viewers and random Doctor Who fans, today I'll be reviewing this, which is the Electronic Moving Dalek, and here it is in its packaging. At the top we get the usual Doctor Who logo and police box, and this is part of the Heritage line. It is an Electronic Moving Dalek, and you can watch it patrol as it glides on a wave of sound. In fact, you can watch it move in the box, which simulates its electronic glide action, which is a bit pointless, but I guess it helps distinguish it from all the other basic three and three quarter scale Daleks on the shelves these days. On the back we get the same information as on the front, with the Dalek buzzing into action. You can also see some of the other Daleks in this range, which are basically just repainted variants in the end. There's a ton of legal guff at the bottom, as you'd expect, but enough about the box, let's move on to the figure. And so here we have the electronic moving Dalek. To look at it, it's basically just another 3.75 inch scale Dalek figure, so when it comes to detail, it's the same as the 2005 series Onwards Bronze Dalek, and I've already reviewed a ton of those, so there's not really much else I can say about it that hasn't already been said before. To echo some of my earlier comments in the past reviews, I really like the detail on these smaller Daleks. It's very crisp and very precise, with some excellent sculpting. The paint apps have been carefully applied, so each rivet on the slats has been given that touch of silver, for example, while the spheres on the skirt have been given this nice gloss effect, which makes them stand out from the matte black. Minuscule detail has also been applied really well to the dome, with even the lens on the eye stock being given a tiny circle of blue. So yeah, overall for detail, it looks excellent, but really, it's nothing new. Turning to articulation, the dome can do the full 360 degree twist, the eye stock can fully move up and down, and both the manipulator arm and exterminator gun are on ball joints, allowing them a large range of positions. Again, this is what we've come to expect, but for an electronic Dalek, especially one of this small size, it's nice that its articulation hasn't been restricted as a result. Okay, so on to the main talking point, the electronic movement. On the underside of the Dalek, as you can see, there are no wheels or casters, but there is, however, a ton of legal orb blocks Instead, we have six clusters of bristles, one on each side, which are very reminiscent of a toothbrush. Switching the toy on will cause these tiny bristles to vibrate, and due to their angled position, they will cause the Dalek to move around when it's set on a flat surface. And I've got to admit, I really, really like this. The bristles make the Dalek move slowly, yet so smoothly, just like how it moves in the show. And as you can see, it will change direction, but only slightly ever so often. What really makes me laugh, though, is that this technology was clearly based on an electric toothbrush. You know those sonic vibration brushes? It's essentially the same thing, and I can't help but wonder if someone in the development room at Character was messing around with one of those toothbrushes one morning and suddenly decided to duct tape it onto the bottom of a Dalek. It's certainly a very inspired idea, don't get me wrong. However, I do have a few issues with it. One, of course, is the fact that it only works on a completely flat surface, so carpets are useless. As is my stage, which is made of very fine flat material, so it's just strictly hard, flat surfaces which allow it to work. My second issue is the noise it makes. Just listen to that, it's really annoying and grated on me very quickly. It even sounds like an electric toothbrush, or as others have pointed out, something kept in the bottom drawer of a lady's bedside table. Doing a size comparison, it's very clear that the electronic Dalek has been taken from the same mould as the other basic 3.75 inch scale figures, as it's the exact same size as the other variants which I've picked up. This also means that it is in scale with the 3.75 inch line, as it doesn't look out of place next to the 12th Doctor or the Spin and Fly TARDIS. So overall, what do I think of this toy? Well, yeah, it's good. As I've said, the detail on these smaller Daleks is excellent considering their size, but of course, every Dalek looks the same, so I'm kind of running out of things to say about their appearance. That's why I chose Sec out of the four available, as I didn't have one in this scale, and even still, it's just a regular bronze Dalek painted black. The feature is great. I really like the way it patrols at a slow speed, and how it gracefully moves as though it's actually hovering. I'm not a fan of the noise, though, as it can get irritating very quickly. There have been a few moving Daleks released over the years, such as the desktop patrol Dalek and the god-awful wind-up version, and I've got to say that this slots right in between them. I still prefer the desktop patrol version out of them all, but if you want something slightly cheaper, I would have to recommend this electronic version, even though the sound it makes is just as ear-shatteringly dire as the wind-up version. And so that brings us to the end of this review. I really hope you liked it. If you did and you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe for more videos and keep up to date with all my latest news and reviews by liking my Facebook page and following me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.